Hello, my name is Eric. In this video, I will explain how I did my folding sofa bed for my van conversion. The sofa bed design is good for any van sizes. The video is part of a series to help you in your do-it-yourself van conversion project. The channel is also about van life tips and adventures that comes along the way. So don't forget to subscribe and ask for notification by hitting the small bell. For those who haven't seen my folding sofa bed in my van tour, here's the simplicity of it. I use a real comfortable mattress that I cut in 5 pieces. The mattress is going to be the subject of another video. I will explain how to cut it and the best material to use. It is so much comfortable and not expensive to do. This folding sofa bed serves many purposes. The sofa can be inclined to fit your mood to chill comfortably. It can be used as an outside bench, it has two sides to sit. It is used also to sit as a restaurant bench. Also, everywhere under the bed, there's storage space. From the back door, I even have an access like a trunk. Now, I will explain how this folding sofa bed is designed and built. There's a bed structure and a panel assembly. Those two parts are assembled only with two wing nuts. The nuts and the washers goes under the bed as shown. The first thing I did was to draw a sketch of the panels of my folding sofa bed the way I wanted. Here you can see how are associated the number of the sketch to the real panels. I used piano inch to link the panels between them. There's only one piano inch that you don't see between panel 2 and 3 because it is on the other side of the panel assembly. Now look at the scale model how the panel's assembly is articulated. Here's the structure of the bed. You can see that there is two chassis side stud in yellow and six across stud in pink. Those six across studs are placed to support the piano hinge according to the position of the sofa bed in a bed position or in a sofa position. Now we are going to look that scale model in movement. I am moving from the bed position to the sofa position. Panel 5 is the trunk door to access in the deep part of the storage. In the bed position, you can see that the hinges are aligned with stud for support. And it's the same in the sofa position, otherwise it is going to put too much stress on the hinges and it may follow problems with deformations. The first thing to build is the panel assembly. After deciding the bed size that you need, you have to decide the size of each panel. The only panel that you really have to consider a minimum size is the sitting panel which is the number one panel. I will not recommend going smaller than 16 inches. There's that minimum because you have to take into account the size of the mattress that will be on your back when you are sitting. If you want to sit at the back of the van, the same rule apply for the sitting panels number 4 and 5. Minimum 16 inches for both total. All the other panels can have the size that fits your needs. I suggest you to have your plywood cut at the hardware store. Those long cuts need to be perfect for the piano inch. For a few dollars, they'll be perfect and easier to bring back home. As you can see, it's pretty easy. After that, you just have to link those panels with the piano hinges. Again, like for the cabinets, at first you can do a dry run with cardboard to figure out if everything will be as planned. Then I did the flatbed structure 
to fit the piano in just position, in bed position, and in sofa position. You can try different sofa angles to find out which angle you prefer. That way you'll be sure where you will have to fix your acro stud structure. I mainly use 2x3 for the structure. If you are heavy, you can go with 2x4. For the acro studs, I decided to use 2x6. On the pictures, you can see which size I took for each position. After you have done the flatbed structure, you can do the legs of the sofa bed. My recommendation is to begin with longer legs and reduce them until you are sitting comfy without touching the roof of the van. It took me 3 to 4 adjustments. As you have seen on the pictures, I use different leg configuration to fit the situation. Also, all my sofa legs are not of the same length because I have removed a seat that goes under the floor. To assemble all the bed structure, I use wood glue, brackets, and wood screws. On those pictures, you can see the type of bracket that I use. What is nice with all that wood is that the inside of the van always smells wood. I just love it. Here's some tips. I left 1 to 2 inches between the bed platform and the cabinet and between the van's wall. This avoids scratching those walls when folding and unfolding the bed. Anyway, you won't fall off the bed by such small gaps. Also, I made the bed structure a few inches smaller than the panel platform. All those gaps end up saving weight and everything is easier to remove and manipulate in the van. So you end up with a folding sofa bed that is light and easy to remove from the van. You can remove or install such a sofa bed by yourself. As you can see, it is also very compact. And you don't need to buy and install any mechanism. You just have to go to the hardware store and you'll come back with cut panels ready to assemble. Everything is in the preparation. Measure twice and cut once. As long as people manifest interest, comment, ask for more videos, give suggestions and subscribe, I will continue creating, editing and publishing those videos. So go subscribe, hit the bell and give me your video suggestion. See ya!